charges after their elementary school aged child turned them in at school. WBTV's Tom Rousey live tonight in Matthews. And Tom, police say this child did the right thing. Yeah, they do, and we're here outside the police department. Now, we know the name of the school where this happened, and we certainly know the name of the parents. We're keeping them from you, even though we hate to do that, but only for one reason. That is, police really want to protect the identity of this nine-year-old so the whole world doesn't know that he basically turned in his parents. One thing I can tell you, though, check this out right here. This is part of the D.A.R.E. program that police here in Matthews do with fifth graders. This is a book that they give all the fifth graders. Well, they gave it to this fifth grader last week, and it was last week they were going over this lesson right here. It's all about marijuana. And the dangers of it. Well, the lesson made such an impression on the 11, the 11 year old that he literally brought marijuana cigarettes that his parents owned to school so he could turn them in. Did this take a lot of guts for this kid to do this? Certainly. Matthews police officer Stason Terrell says this is an example of the D.A.R.E. program working. In this case, it happened to be taking place in the child's own home. The D.A.R.E. officer spends time teaching fifth graders at Matthews' three elementary schools, and he teaches the kids the dangers of drugs, tobacco, and alcohol. The section on marijuana obviously got the 11-year-old boy's attention. Even if it's happening in their own home by their own parents, uh, because of what we're teaching them, they understand that that's a dangerous situation. Knowing full well the seriousness of it, he still came forward and reported it to the law enforcement. And police say normally they wouldn't advocate actually taking the drugs to school to turn somebody in, but they say this kid, he really did do the right thing in their eyes. They totally respect what he did, and he had the best of intentions, and they say they want more kids to do this kind of thing. By the way, I did talk off camera with the father who was turned in by his son. He tried to defend himself, saying, look, I don't give drugs to my kids, but I said, yeah, but your kid obviously had access to the drugs, and he said, well, that's nobody's business, and we didn't have much more conversation beyond that. Back to y'all. Well, it is the uh, court's business. Now, Tom, is this boy still with his parents? Uh, he is not at the moment. Social Services was contacted in this case, and actually he and a sibling are staying with relatives right now, and it's all being monitored by DSS, Jamie. Boy, quite a story. Tom Rousey live in Matthews. Thanks, Tom. And tonight, both parents are facing drug possession and paraphernalia. What, what about that? We can affect change. We affect change with cigarettes. Can we check affect change with, with things like pot? Well, we make it unpopular. Uh, look, I, I just think that there should be truth in this. I don't, uh, I don't drink uh, alcohol, I don't smoke pot, but I've drank alcohol and I've smoked pot. And I can tell you there's a big difference between the two, and that is that marijuana is a lot safer than alcohol. So I think we can introduce truth into this whole equation. We can tell our kids the truth regarding this. And when it comes to the truth and my kids, uh, I, I love them. Um, I'd rather see them smoke marijuana than alcohol, but I don't want them caught when it comes to, I don't want them subject to the criminal justice system when it comes to marijuana. Justice is not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders. <laughs> drugs are bad because if you do drugs, you're a hippie, and hippies suck.